What you just heard was Western New York and Pennsylvania engine number 430 switching out the Smucker's Industrial Lead here in Meadville, Pennsylvania. In front of us is number 6003. This was the last AH-46AC as the WNYP classifies them, but you may better know them as AC-6000s to arrive on the WNYP property and, in turn, the last one to be here in Meadville. This is its second coming to this town after the French Creek Valley Railroad Historical Society announced its grand opening tomorrow and Sunday, July 16th and 17th, 2022. The WNYP has generously brought this unit down to have on display for the grand opening. Here we are positioned along the former Bessemer and Lake Erie Meadville branch, now the Smuckers Industrial Lead. And here comes ME1 with a cut of cars being delivered to the facility. Off to the left, where you see that gated section, was where the Bessemer and Lake Erie had a right-of-way that took them into the Meadville yard itself to interchange with the Erie and, I believe, the Erie Lackawanna. some point, whether it be this year or 2023, a new siding is to be constructed as well as some new equipment be brought into the Smuckers plant to improve how they function here. It's also supposed to have a future mini yard with six tracks coming in as well.
This here was originally at the mall that has since been closed and was now moved here. Atlantic and Great Western number five. Those are the old shops I was showing where that was the other day when we went past Lincoln Recycling, the uh, Bessemer Industrial Park. I believe they say from the 1930s these were. These had moved from the last time that I was here at the soft opening. One of the things this Museum touts as they'll be constantly shifting things around and bringing new things in as they come available. Nice provision for them. Nice little chance to get up and close on these old AC 6000s freshly repainted in the Western New York and Pennsylvania scheme. Sitting here on the main line.
While the presence of Western New York and Pennsylvania AC 6000 number 6003 was only temporary at the Meadville Railroad Depot, new information has come to light regarding another locomotive that will be displayed there. This time it will be an Alco, and this time its presence will be permanent. It comes in the form of WNYP MLW C630M number 630. For those of you who don't know, 630 was the most sought out after locomotive to be filmed and photographed of the six axle fleet during the MLW era, as it sports an Arkansas and Missouri Railroad paint scheme with Western New York and Pennsylvania lettering on the sides, as well as the company logo on the front of it. An interesting side point about the Arkansas and Missouri Railroad is they were the ones that actually stored the AC 6000s and brought them to a serviceable condition painting them for the Western New York and Pennsylvania. Well, all except for 6006. 6006 was originally supposed to be a parts unit, which was later painted and brought to a serviceable condition by the WNYP themselves. But as to 630, it is supposed to arrive within the next month or so, and as a reference for those interested, today is April 7th, 2023. For the time being, the depot is gathering funds so that they can hire cranes to move it from the m main line of the WNYP onto a display track that will be right by the depot. The locomotive is being donated to the museum by the WNYP, so it is assumed that most likely the prime mover in electronics will be removed, unfortunately. This in mind, 630 was always my favorite locomotive, so the idea of it standing by the Western New York and Pennsylvania rail line and serving as a reminder of an era now gone is still cool to me, and I look forward to hopefully seeing and filming it as it makes the transition from the main line to its final resting place.